Hi, it's Jeremiah Taylor, and today I want to talk to you about the spring and summer housing markets that we're expecting here in 2023. You know, we've come out of really quite an unprecedented fall and winter season at the end of 2022, um, seeing some of the most dramatic slowdowns in home sales and in home prices that we've seen uh, really since the Great Recession. And so I want to talk about what should we expect, because here's what you have to remember about the housing market. Population growth tends to only go one direction. That's up and to the right, right? Matter of fact, there are more people in the United States today that need shelter than there were last year, the year before, especially 10 years ago. So what that means is when we have a significant pullback in the number of homes sold in any month or quarter or especially year, typically what that doesn't mean is that those home sales evaporated. It means that they moved. Now, you could make the case that some of those home sales actually moved up because during the COVID lockdown period, we had this massive housing surge where we sold six, over 6 million homes a year for two years in a row. So we pulled some of that demand forward. But at the end of last year, we closed out right around 5 million homes sold. So it was a dramatic change, over 20% change. But what that really means is that in the third and the fourth quarters, we saw almost a 40% pullback in the number of homes sold. And so it really felt like the brakes were coming onto the market. Now, as we come into spring, we're getting a little bit of interest rate relief. So if you've been watching what's happening with the consumer price index and inflation as a whole, inflation seems to be softening. We're expecting that the Fed this month in January will very likely only offer a quarter or maybe a half point rate increase at most, which what we're seeing is that as the Fed is um, kind of becoming more dovish around what's happening with rates, that the investors that are buying more mortgage-backed securities are be becoming more aggressive as they buy those. Now, that's a good thing for you as a buyer because that means the price for a 30-year mortgage is going down. In fact, for first-time home buyers getting FHA and VA loans, many times are seeing rates in the mid to low 5% range here this month in January of 2023. Now, conventional buyers are still seeing a little bit of pressure, especially second home buyers investment loans. Those are still in the low high fives to low sixes. And so if we see the Fed continue to slow down on their rate increases, it is not crazy to believe that we will see high 4% interest rates. That's four, four, this many, 4% interest rates here in the next few months in the spring market. So what does that mean? Well, that means that you should expect to see a surge in demand. Some of that demand, like I said, that we saw evaporate in the third and fourth quarters last year actually was, was already gone. It got taken before in 2020, 21, 22, early 22. Some of that's going to move forward into early 23. Now, I want to reference a really interesting heat map that you're going to see pop up here on the screen. What this shows you is that there's only been two times, count them two, in the last 20 years where we've seen home prices go backwards in the spring and the summer. But, you know, that doesn't make a lot of sense, right? Like, what do you mean two times? Like we saw, we had a mortgage meltdown in 2001. We had a really big mortgage meltdown in 2008. Home prices went backwards from 2007 to 2011. We had coronavirus two times, but not just two times, two months. And it, in those two months, home prices went backwards by 2% in April of 2009 and home prices went backwards by 1.2% in May of 2020. Every other time for the last 20 years, home prices have increased in the spring and summer, except for those two months. Now, what's interesting is even in 2009 and 2020, home prices increased from January to June overall, we just had one month where we went a little bit backwards. So when you talk about what to expect in this spring selling market or spring selling season, summer selling season, I'd expect home prices to go up. I'd expect sales volume to go up. I'd expect inventory to go down. We're starting the year with historically low inventory. We saw a little bit of price softening. I'll tell you what, if I'm looking to buy a home, this is the time. This is the time to seize your opportunity because it's going to be a strong spring selling season. Now, what comes in the winter, in the fall? Who knows? That's a little far out for my crystal ball. It's still kind of foggy when you get past six months. But I can confidently say 
that I would expect to have a strong spring and summer selling season. Expect to see some price growth. So if you're thinking about buying or selling, I would jump on that opportunity because what you see in that heat map that I just showed is that generally it's around February and March. When the Super Bowl comes, that's when the home sales tend to start. So act quickly. Give us a call. We'll be happy to help. Signing off. It's Jeremiah Taylor.